What's up? Some a miracle happened. A miracle. Okay. So I'm just gonna kind of give y'all my background a little bit. As far as like my career path or what I have like studied in school. Okay, so the Houston Community College, I went to take music theory and music composition. Actually, I didn't get to the music composition part yet, but I took, yeah, music theory, ear training, and I was paying it with it out of my own pocket. And I, like, I feel like I was learning a lot, but for some reason, I didn't feel like that was my career path. Now, I mean, yes, you know, um, composing music, but not continuing uh, to go to school for it. So, I didn't know what I should do. You know, I mean, because I am passionate about music, obviously. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, even when I was here in Utah, I uh, transferred those credits. And then I went to school for um, performance, music performance. I was taking, like, voice lessons, guitar. But then, like, I was, like, adding it up. And I'm like, this doesn't feel solid. As far as like making a career out of it. Even though I'm passionate about music. I am a singer songwriter. Um, I do compose music in my head. Like you know. It's just like I have like an orchestra playing on in my head. But I feel like I can learn that on my own. Like I didn't feel like school was for it. So then what happened was. in a, So I was going to school for like a year. So I was doing awesome. Um, but then like when I dropped out of school during that time, I felt really bad because it made it to where I couldn't go back because I kind of dropped out all of a sudden during the semester or something like that. And it was just like giving me like nightmares. I was just like, no, I messed up my path. But then, I'm, but then it's just like, I didn't see how it could like, I can make money at it. But then I kind of got like obsessed with social media marketing. And like, I literally like had two Facebooks that I built where it was like on a subject where it was like one was raw food and then you know I started adding a whole bunch of people <clears throat> that were into the same subject but I used like I but then I was thinking in my head you know if I actually sell like a health uh, product which I was like thinking of like doing like a like water filter talk about a water filter and market on there then that would be like beneficial I don't just I didn't, I didn't really know how to go about it though I mean I have about almost like 4,000 uh, friends on the raw living food. Um, and then I had another one, which is like lucid dreamy. And I like built that one up too. I mean, it's almost like 4,000 as well. And then I have another page that, um, it's like a, a, another subject for like a political, um, and it's like all the same subject. But what I did was, okay. So when I uh, did the raw living food, uh, Facebook page, I, um, I looked up big names that were into the raw food community. And what I noticed is that they all add each other, but based on the subject. And it's not like really like a personal thing, you know, because I mean, I wouldn't do that. Like if, if it was like a personal page or something like that, no, but it's just like, they're very passionate about that subject. I'm passionate about it too. So that's just like why, you know, I started adding a whole bunch of people, but I went to like a page where it had like a lot of a lot of friends, like where it was like five thousand or something like that, and then I started adding it, you know, adding some of their friends. But then it got to that point where like I reached past like a hundred that I would add friends that had mutual friends, but where they had a lot of mutual friends, where it was like a hundred or two hundred mutual friends. So I don't know. I just started adding all. All these people that had the same exact interest that had a lot of mutual friends. So they listen, you know, it's like if I, you know, want to send somebody something like a, you know, like a post or a link to something or whatever, they are receptive to it, you know, because they're like, they're like, oh, you know, I may not know her personally, but she's in a raw food like me. So it's all good, you know? And I mean, it's the same for me. Although like sometimes I don't, sometimes I overlook it or whatever, but I haven't really like, and this was like, 
was it like three years ago or two years ago? Like, I haven't done anything with it. Even with the Lucid Dreaming, I haven't done anything with it. I still, like, sometimes, like, continue to add people because I'm, like, trying to get to, like, 5,000 people. But I haven't. It's like I have those pages, like, build up, built up, and I'm still trying to build it up more. Because um, you got to be careful. You kind of got to do it a little bit slowly because if you do it too fast, then, like, you know, Facebook can, like, <laughs> they'll, like, um, you know, deactivate your Facebook um, cause they say that you're spamming or something like that. So anyway, but obviously, you know, social marketing is like where it's at. Like it, and I pay attention like on YouTubers, like there's certain YouTubers that they don't, their content sucks. Okay. Sorry. I'm just going to call it like it is like, okay. Trisha Paytas, for example, she's a millionaire. I'm not gonna say multimillionaire, but she's a millionaire. You know, she has a nice house. She lives a nice, comfortable life. But she has built herself up on social media, you know, through YouTube. Her content is not even that interesting. A lot of her uh, videos are clickbait. But the cool thing is that she has, she does have enough of a following. It's like a 2,400,000 or 2,600,000, you know, followers or subscribers. And now she's making her music. She's uh, dancing. She's like now um, introducing like her iTunes of uh, the songs that she's written and she's doing music videos. And it's just like freaking awesome that, you know, and then she gets paid. Now, YouTube's kind of changing a little bit anyway, but I still think that YouTube. Okay, so let's just say this. As of now, I don't know what it's, I don't know what YouTube's going to be in the future as far as people being able to get like revenue, you know, on advertisements because they have changed a lot of the rules now. I still think that it's a good place though, um, where if you have like a lot of subscribers, you can still market yourself on there. So the fact that she has her music videos on there and she has like, um, you know, she gives a link to her iTunes. That's like a way to make money. And then some people do Patreon, stuff like that. Okay, so that, you know, i just been really fascinated though. But like, I just don't know how it works. You know, I don't know how people make money off of Facebook or Twitter or whatever. It's like, I've just been very fascinated with it. You know, I just didn't know the mechanics of it. But okay, it was just like a couple of weeks ago. I was in Barnes and Noble and I saw this book and it was called um, marketing Facebook marketing for dummies and I was just like woo and then my eyes were just like oh my gosh this is freaking awesome because I have those Facebook uh, you know pages that I haven't really done anything with and it's basically like just how to like brand yourself like how to market yourself you know it's given like you know tidbits of information you know just certain things to think about you know, like how you contact people, just all these different things. And I'm just like, I didn't really buy it, but it's just really perked my interest. Okay. So then, and that was, that was on Easter actually. Well, the day before Easter, that was on a Saturday. Um, but yeah, just last night I was having like a complete, and this had to do with my career. I was kind of having like a breakdown kind of, I was just like, I don't want to be on the phone all my life. Like, I'm like, I, because I've always wanted to have my own YouTube channel. I've always wanted to sing. I've always wanted to like, you know, do like a business online and know how it works. But I just didn't know how to do it. You know, I didn't, I didn't think that they had a career out there um, or they had like a, you know, a way you can learn how to do that. I just maybe like just getting information from other people or something. But I just found out just a couple of days ago that they actually have a degree in that where it's called social media marketing. And a lot of people like, you know, from the baby boom, the baby boomer generation, they think, oh, you know, that's not a real job. You can't make money. Dude, it is the freaking wave of the future. That is how you freaking make money. Okay. If you want to make bank, if you know how to work the internet, and you had to market yourself on there, it's like, it's unlimited, you know? So like whatever business idea you have or whatever, it's like you have to learn how, or you have to know how to do that. I mean, unless you hire somebody. But like me as a singer and as a songwriter, the cool freaking thing is, you know, I take guitar lessons. I could take voice lessons on my own time. 
you know, I have my own personal teacher that I like that's I feel like is actually helping me improve in that area, not just to get a grade or anything like that, because I just can't do that. I don't like to get graded on my music. Like, it just doesn't feel right to me. But I do like, you know, when someone stretches me or they're like a mentor to me in my music. That's good. Although I don't mind taking like music. I don't mind having a teacher for music theory. But yeah, when it comes to like, you know, uh, singing for like a grade, it just doesn't feel right for me. So anyway, um, and it takes the fun out of it too. So that's why I just, that's why I dropped out of college taking those courses. But now it's like, I feel so clear. It's like, I already know what I want to do now. Like, I, I just can't even begin to, it's just so freaking amazing when you actually get to that place in your life. Okay, I'm 37 years old. It's taken me this long to get to where I am now. But that's okay. You know, it just sucks. I mean, sometimes no, it, it's cool. But it just sometimes takes uh, people such a long time to find their niche to something that they can really be good at. And it's like, I know I can be really good at it. Because it's like, I'm passionate. It's like where my heart is at, you know? And it was really interesting because God, on East, uh, the day before Easter, he introduced me to this book called Willpower is Not Enough. And so the book is just basically talking about like, you know, if your heart is not into something, you're not going to have the willpower to finish it. And so I like when I read that chapter, it was really just, so when I was trying to figure out where I should go to school, you know, should I be an esthetician? Like I cannot be a freaking, you know, telemarketer anymore. I cannot work at a call center. I cannot do it anymore. I was like having a nervous breakdown about it. I was just like, I have to do something different. I just don't know what to do. Like, what do I do different? I don't want to go to school for music because it takes the fun out of it and takes the, you know, the passion away for some reason. But you know, I was like, I guess I could be an esthetician. Like, I, I'm not really into that, but I guess. Or, okay, I guess I can go back to hair school, but okay. But it that book was saying that if your heart is not into it, you're not going to have the willpower. So then it was just like letting me know. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, I shouldn't go to esthetician school, even though, yes, you can supposedly make about $40,000 a year. But it was just like, I know that I might drop out because I'm not into it. Or if I went to hair school. I might drop out, not into it. You know, um, dental assistant. I mean, that would be a really good way to make money. Freaking, I would drop out. So I was just, it, it just, it just dawned on me though. It's just like the social media marketing. I'm not going to freaking, it, it feels right. It is literally the only time in my whole life. Like the only time in my life that I felt right about something as far as like my career path. And bam, here it is. It's like so weird. It's like I'm so clear. And it's just so wonderful to be at that place in your life when you're clear. Where you're like, okay, this is where I want to be. This is this is what I'm going to be good at. This is what I'm going to enjoy in life. And I'm going to freaking make, a, a, I can make freaking a lot of money at. You know? So it's just like, it's so perfect. Because... You know, it's like I've been good at other things. Like, okay, I've been good at sales, but I'm not passionate about it. And I freaking hate it. I don't like, you know, having to sell people in that type of way. That's why marketing in, in um, like taking that, you know, avenue is just a lot better. Because like you grab people's attention by your creativity. Versus like, you know, um, trying to get somebody to buy something that they don't want. I don't like salespeople. You know, actually, I was going to join a membership and then there was a sales guy and he was trying to sell me. And I just like, I hated it because it's like, I'm like, I kept falling into his sales pitch. Like, it's like, I knew what he was doing, but for some reason he kept like getting me to switch back to where he was at, you know, even though I knew it wasn't practical for me right now, it's just not good for me right now in my life. But it's just like, he was able to, at that time, get me to get off my own track. It's like, I don't want to be a part of that. I don't want to get anybody, you know, out of their own path, whatever path they're going into. I don't want to say, hey, you know, why don't you buy this alarm system? It's really going to benefit you. And they're just like, wait, 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 I have other bills. But then I'm like, you know, I have to make my money and have to pay my own bills. And I'm just like, oh, okay, no, 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 just think about it. I hate that, y'all. But it's cool. I, I have to do it right now. But 
you know, I, I just, but that's what I love about marketing though, in general, where it's like, if you're doing it like through the social media platform, it's like people are going to be interested in that subject anyway. And you don't really have to sell people on it. It's just like, okay, you know, if that's something that they're interested in, they're going to check it out. And if it's like a, you know, if you know how to market yourself in a, you know, a way where people are interested, then bam, there it is, you know? Um, and the cool thing about it is just so much freedom where you don't have to work for one company. You don't have to say, okay, you know, I'm just going to be, uh, you know, for this one company for the rest of my life. Because I like, you know, it's like the way my mind works is like I'm always business minded. I'm always thinking of a business idea. And that's how, like, that's how I've always been. When I was like younger, I would think about business ideas at the top of my hat. Like I'd be like, oh, this is a good business idea. And I've always like wanted to like be able to create jobs for people and like sell ideas because it's just like, boom, I have like so many ideas. It's just like, it's like a fountain of ideas, but it's just like, it, that's why it's so hard for me to be like one track minded when it comes to like my career path, you know? Um, but anyway, I just, I'm just excited because like, I just, to actually be clear minded and, and grounded and like actually get to that place where I know what I want to do. And it's just like, there's no question anymore. It's just like, wow. Like, it's just, it's just so interesting. Cause it's like, you know, there was a one time I went to the art Institute and it's just like, you know, I wrote out a, like a screenplay kind of like kind of not a full out screenplay, but it's just like, I'm very movie minded. And I wrote out this, uh, you know, like the, an outline of what I would want for a movie and it's really good, you know, and I have it like a lot of it written out and, um, it would be cool if someone else picked it up and, you know, worked on it. But the thing is like when I went to the art Institute, I just wasn't feeling it. It just didn't feel right. Like everything that I have tried to pursue has not felt right. And it's been this long, but now I'm here and it's like, I know what I want to do. And it's just, it's a very peaceful feeling. It's very calming. It's just like, okay. It's just like, I, there's, it's just like, I'm not even doubting it. Like, I'm just like, it's just, it's, I'm here, <laughs> you know? Um, but yeah, I mean, we'll see what the road, where the road takes me. Um, and I feel like it's a very good environment. The, the college that I want to go to, it's a very, it's just like a really pleasant environment and I love the area and, um, it's just, it's amazing. So yay. <laughs> All right, y'all, y'all take care. Bye.